God is so good and uh, this is the entrepreneurship anointing and uh, this is really going to be so amazing. Today we are going to see from the way how God gave the entrepreneurship anointing for Joseph. So Joseph he's uh, not only an entrepreneur but is he's also a prophetic. So that is much more sometimes you see um people are just prophetic in nature and not entrepreneurship in nature or some people are only entrepreneurs but they are not prophetic what makes joseph unique is he's not only entrepreneurship anointing and also he also had prophetic anointing so that is really much more blessing you all are prophetic and today through this session and i strongly believe god is going to impart a strong entrepreneurship anointing as well we are going to dig deeper into the way how god operated through joseph and uh, he is going to operate through you in a powerful way first of all joseph inter- interpreted dreams he is a dreamer prophetic dreamer he had a dream concerning his future how he was a leader and um, all others are you know like coming to him that was the kind of a high level overview of dream so god established his identity so anyone is in christ is a new creation so god calls you as a leader he told go make disciples that makes you a leader to make others um that is really a quality of a leader so that is how joseph saw in that vision where his crop or the um yeah that that stood still so that really made him to realize he got to do something he is up to something god is up to something in his life and today this is the word for you god is up to something in your life so you are believing in the prophetic and also god is calling you as a leader because there is a mandate upon you and me that the god that the lord has called you and me as a leader jesus um he is an entrepreneur as well because like god gave him the grace to uh, lead 12 disciples so he was leading them and he was guiding them and today we see that um the believers are like flooded the whole earth more and more and more because of what Jesus did his death on the cross and also his resurrection but primarily we see that the quality of a leader the quality of an entrepreneur the quality manifested through Jesus we can learn a lot but today we are going to stick with Joseph and we are going to see how Joseph was able to demonstrate that entrepreneurship anointing coupled with prophetic anointing so that's very important so the nation entered into a change and transition during the time of joseph and then we see that there was the time where um people were so afraid but joseph since he is prophetic he was not afraid he foresee what is coming a leader is the one who make quality decision the moment when joseph was taken to egypt as a slave he was best in doing everything so if you look at three stages he was in the potiphar's house he was proved to be trustworthy in the potiphar's house so he was promoted to manage all the resources of the household the first thing that is really important is to be trustworthy you know to be an entrepreneur you need to be um trustworthy before god and when i say trustworthy whatever is given to you do it diligently so we can see that okay let me see if i can able to share this um yeah so this is from the book of genesis chapter 39 so uh, let's read this okay i'm going to see if i can able to paste this here yeah i think i can paste this here all right so this is the first step of how god made Joseph to be an entrepreneur. Okay. Now Joseph had been taken down to Egypt. Potiphar, an Egyptian who was one of Pharaoh's official, the captain of God of the God, brought him from Ishmaelites who had taken him there. The Lord was with Joseph, so he prospered. That is the key. The Lord is with you, so you will prosper. And he lived in the house of Egyptian master. when his master saw the lord was with him and the lord gave him success in everything he did joseph found favor in potiphar's eyes and became his attendant potiphar put 
him in charge of his household and he entrusted to his care everything he owned from the time he put him in charge of his household of all he owned the lord blessed the household of egyptian because of joseph because of joseph the lord blessed the household because of you the lord is going to bless your household the blessings of the lord was on everything potiphar had both in the house and in the field so potiphar left everything he had in joseph's care with joseph in charge he has he did and he did not concern himself with anything except the food he ate now joseph was well built and handsome when joseph came he was a little boy but now this potiphar he gave everything in the hands of joseph because the lord was with joseph joseph prospered because of the trustworthiness of joseph the potiphar he gave everything all the household um managing the whole house planning even planning managing taking care of the fields taking care of the home so he made a leader so there may be many other servants other people who worked for potiphar so in other words within the house because the lord was with joseph and that was identified by potiphar he gave everything in charge the moment when he gave everything in charge to joseph the whole household of potiphar was blessed not only his household but the field was blessed whatever potiphar was doing everything was blessed because of one reason there was a strong anointing upon joseph there was a covenant that joseph had with god there was a favor of the lord upon joseph and there was a entrepreneurship anointing so that he can able to manage everything well he was able to prove trustworthy this is very very essential so the lord wants you to know that he will he has given you this anointing he has given you this leadership anointing he has given you this trustworthy anointing he has given you this favor because the lord is with you you will prosper like how joseph prospered so that is stage 1 right so the stage 1 So there is this is that first time Joseph understood there is something different in my life it's because of God so secondly we see that Joseph he was in a prison but although he was in a prison i wanted to focus on this main thing so let me show you what i mean the second important thing that Joseph did was primarily even in the prison he became successful manager of resources within the prison prison the leadership and entrepreneurship qualities has never ever removed from him so he started to use the talents that the lord has given so this is from the book of genesis and uh let's see chapter 39 was 20 onwards but while joseph was there in the prison we know that he was falsely accused that's why he ended up in prison the lord was with him the lord was with joseph when he was in potiphar's home and made joseph the leader of the whole home or the manager of the whole home now he was in prison even in the prison the lord was with him he showed him kindness and granted him favor in the eyes of the prison warden who gave god gave so the warden put joseph in charge of all those held in the prison and he was made responsible for all that was done there so joseph was made responsible for everything in the prison he is a leader in the prison the warden paid no attention to anything under joseph's care because the lord was with joseph and gave him success in whatever he did imagine this is a prison it's not a prison like today in america or any other place with high um facilities and things but even in that time and the season olden days old covenant 4000 years back nearly we see that joseph was able to manage and be the leader so the warden he was literally doing warden's job in other words 
because of the leadership anointing and the quality because of the entrepreneurship anointing one thing you see there's a favor of god the lord was with joseph the lord's favor is there today the lord's favor is with you the lord is with you it doesn't matter whether you are in a palace it doesn't matter whether you are in a very very small little place you can succeed from that place if you are faithful trustworthy if you really know that the lord's favor is manifesting upon me i'm going to be excellent in what i do because the lord's favor is with me he will give me success the word success is repeatedly coming even in the uh, potiphar's home the word success came favor came the lord was with joseph came here in the prison the lord was with joseph in the prison the lord's favor was with joseph so the warden gave him in charge manager leader entrepreneur to manage everything among the prisoners so anything under joseph joseph himself was a prisoner but he was not treated as a prisoner he was treated as a leader even in the prison david was outcasted but he was treated as a leader of the outcast to fight uh, to has to stand res- to have a resistance against the saul so doesn't matter whether you may be your position may not be like very very high but still you are a leader and when you are stick on to that identity ups or downs when you know that you are a leader when you know that god is with me his favor is with me he will give me success you might not have a job but still you can be successful you might not have any bank balance still you can be successful if the lord is with you the lord is with you that's a good news if his favor is with you his favor is with you that's a good news so this is really unbelievable to see wherever you put joseph they identified him as a entrepreneur leader successful person favorable person the lord is with him so god prospered him even in the prison he was not treated as a prisoner in a force or any harsh manner rather he was given in charge that's the entrepreneurship anointing that's the one of the best thing to understand how when the lord is with you his favor is with you you are an entrepreneur so the last thing happened joseph interpreted the dream of the prisoner who was the palace who was the king's baker cup bearer so he was able to interpret butler so he was able to uh, interpret the dream we see that he was promoted from the prison to palace the anointing of leadership or entrepreneur lifted him up to the highest places the anointing that is in you will take you to the highest places kings will come to your doorstep presidents prime ministers leaders they will come when you accelerate and excel in the calling that the lord has placed in your life and today we are seeing specifically the leadership quality or the entrepreneurship anointing prophetic anointing that's what joseph joseph never dreamed i want to be a prime minister i want to be a president no he did not dreamed because the lord was with him the lord made him because the lord is with you he is going to make you successful here is what he did in the palace he understood that there is a famine that is coming so being a entrepreneur anointing he know how to gather the crop how to manage the crop and how to distribute the crop three things how to gather how to manage how to distribute at the time of need that's what an entrepreneur will do there are a lot of gas stations they have a lot of storehouses they got a lot of gases and then they filled up at the time of need they are able to sell it gold same people buy gold they keep it at the time of peak increase silver same stocks crypto whatever it may be i'm just giving some examples so you need to have a plan and then the plan be inspired by the lord and after it has been inspired by the lord then execute the plan so plan after you planned prepare for it after you prepared manage it 
that's like gathering accumulating releasing proverbs talks about plans a lot you have to plan entrepreneurship is all about planning when you, when someone thinks about starting a new restaurant business they have to plan they have to sit and count the cost they have to strategically led by the lord to place i know a restaurant in ohio cleveland a believer they planned for 2 years and then after 2 years they found a place the location that the lord showed them and after that they started the business but now they are opening the second branch how because they planned well they executed it well and the quality is very good so people all around came to know that the quality is uncompromised so here is the thing anything you deliver do it for the lord that's what paul says anything that you do don't do that you are doing for your employer or master or in whatever you call do it for the lord then you shall prosper that's what exactly joseph did joseph did not think i'm in prison let me see how i can able to comfort myself no he was able to be the leader there he doesn't compromise his leadership quality even in the prison he was a slave in potiphar's home he did not think i am a slave he think i am a manager here i'm going to manage whole potiphar's home because the lord is with me his favor is with me i will be successful because i am successful everyone that i manage will be successful will be prosperous will be flourishing finally he made a second in command prince of egypt when he was prince of egypt he did not compromise there as well he can think i am a jew now i am sitting as a prince now no one can touch me let me just sit and eat and relax no he exercised the planning preparing executing planning preparing executing three things are very important quality when you receive this anointing you will plan well you will prepare well you will execute well whatever the business it may be could be a restaurant business or it could be a gas station business or it could be a new idea maybe like it may be a, a retail business or clothing business or bakery or whatever it may be strategically pray and ask god he will show you this is the place and then he will give you this is what i would like you to do and then you will see the result and execution you will see the results so this is going to be so amazing because you are prophetic because you are anointed as a leader and because you plan and lay the plan in the hands of the lord as you commit your ways to god the lord will prosper you because the favor of the lord is with you he will prosper you small or big you don't maybe a just the what is that the so sewing right so the people they even like stitch they 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 create clothes even that business i know someone they prospered god can able to use simple whatever you know he can able to use that and multiply that entrepreneurship meaning jesus is your boss you are not having any boss in the world no one can boss you around when you are an entrepreneur god himself will be your boss but it's a transition joseph did not become a prince on the day one he went through stages but everywhere he excellently exercised the leadership quality the entrepreneurship quality that's what you are called to do so you don't have to wait for one day when the bank approves your loan to start a business your entrepreneurship anointing already started you may be a servant you may be having nothing to do but still you are an entrepreneur whatever you are wherever you are you can manage things and everyone under your umbrella will be blessed because the favor of the lord is with you his leadership quality is with you his entrepreneurship anointing is with you so you will thrive because you thrive everyone under you will thrive tens will turn into 100 100 will turn into 1000 1000 to 10000 a month 10000 to 100000 a month 100000 to million you can be an entrepreneur because the lord says i give power to produce wealth this is the scripture this is what god said i give my people that's you and me power to produce wealth the reason why america 
Canada and all these nations that we see, India, many other nations are coming up or getting more and more entrepreneurs because that is a work of God. That is a hand of God. Europe, hand of God. Australia, that is a hand of God. Believers, you may be in a poorest country, still you can be rich because of God's anointing. This is not a prosperity gospel. Gospel produces prosperity in you. It's not the other way around. There is nothing. I don't believe in a gospel that just preaches prosperity. I believe in the repentance. But as you repent and as you receive the good news, the gospel, as you receive the anointing that is mentioned in the Bible, because God said, I, will, I give power to produce wealth. Why? Because you don't have to beg for your food. You can be a giver. You can be kingdom builder. You can able to build many families and lives. So that is a unique purpose of God behind why God blesses you richly. It's not for any selfish reason or it's not for any show off reason. It's primarily for his glory. God wants his, Solomon was the richest man ever lived on the face of earth until today. Why? Because God wanted to glorify his name. Solomon did not ask, I want to be rich. Because his heart was after God, God made him rich. It's the blessing of the Lord that prospers you. He adds no sorrow with it. It's the desire and the heart of the Lord. That's the key. So the entrepreneurship anointing, as Joseph exercised the leadership anointing, he was excelled and his level increased and he never had to worry about the food or anything. The Lord blessed him abundantly. That is how it works. It is not about you chase after money. You chase after the calling and the purpose that the Lord has given. All other things will be added unto you. That's what Jesus said. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All other things will be added unto you. You be excellent in what you do. You may be a nurse. Be excellent in what you do. Other day, there is a nurse in Florida treated 3,000 COVID patients and uh, got very great success, promoted to the next level, even in the nursing. So be excellent in what you do. Anything you do, God will prosper you. Anything you do. Some of you may be a nurse. You will start your own nursing home. You'll be an owner, entrepreneur. You will manage group of nurses. You will lead group of nurses, doctors. You may be a doctor. God can make you to have your own hospital rather than working in some other's hospital. You may be a retail seller. God can able to make you a retail owner. You can have your own platform. The Lord can make it when you are diligent in what you do, when you are trustworthy in what you do, when you are decided that I'm going to use what God has given me. I'm going to do this small work for the glory of God. Then you can able to see the results in a powerful way, glorious way. It will never miss 100% hit. It is going to be so powerful. So we see that God is giving you creative innovations creative ideas, creative plans. God is giving you strategies. There is one person I know. I forgot the company name, but anyway. Um, the, there was a husband and wife. The husband started the business, but then he went into debt. He could not be able to come out of that debt. So the company was completely about to bankrupt. But the wife who is a believer, decided to take that anointing that the Lord has given and brought the company from negative to positive. So the reason is because she realized nothing is too late. While the company is in negative, about to bankrupt, still there is a hope. Reversed everything. There are so many stories I can tell like this. How person who understood that there is an identity that the Lord has given me as a leader to plan in his presence, to prepare, that's what plan, and to execute and to operate and distribute and see the returns. So apply the creativity, apply the innovation, apply the planning, apply the strategy. 
so then you can able to see supernatural outcome supernatural blessings supernatural breakthroughs the lord will provide you favor the favor of the lord gives you opportunity but since you are already diligent you will make use of that opportunity to accelerate and implement what the lord has already given you the potential so your work will be unique the outcome will be so special so you will get more opportunities you will get the expansion the lord will expand your territory that's how god gave david territory after territory because he realized he's a leader and he was able to manage the people well lead the people well you are not able to do all by yourself joseph did not do everything he did not go to storehouse and measure and give he appointed people one of the leadership quality entrepreneurship entrepreneurship anointing is partnership and apply and and assigning people to do what they need to do so proper planning can able to make the resource channelizing the resource and then see the proper outcome yes you will get into the you you will also put your own hands at the beginning but as things grow as you start seeing profit and things you can able to channelize to multiply so those things god will give you the strategy that's what that's what exactly joseph did he just gave a plan and then pharaoh gave people and he was able to allocate the task okay you go and, and build that storehouse you go and gather the crops you go and then wait until the season and then distribute the nation was prospering people will people came to egypt to give gold silver to buy food that's why egypt become rich because of joseph's decision entrepreneur country level entrepreneurship he was literally doing business at the time of famine he had what the world needs that is the wisdom of god you have what the world needs that is jesus you can give in addition to that in the world of business when you give something that no other can give when there is a restaurant that serves a burger burger that no one else can give that taste you will see crowd because they are diligent in doing what they are called to do they know there is a anointing of god grace of god why a lot of people go to chickfilly that's a grace that's a favor that's a christian believer started that i can list lot of restaurants and lot of unique places like that they decide now oh, i'm doing it for god i'm doing because like i want to do the best not because i wanted to compete i wanted to do the best that's our joseph I, i'm in a prison that's fine i want to do the best i wanted to be the exercise the leadership anointing the best no grumbling i still remember my first ministry started in a village i had a old bicycle bike so i used the bike for 2 3 miles to go to couple of homes every week for 2 years i wanted to exercise the anointing that the lord has given me i don't want it to i i don't want a big youtube platform or i don't want any um big church to give me opportunity god has given me those two homes i'm going to go exercise my anointing release what the lord has deposited in me day after day week after week month after month year after year for a couple of years until god promoted me to the next level i did not even i was content in that level but i was trusting god but the moment came and god saw when the lord sees joseph you are ready you now is the time for you to be promoted from the potiphar's home to palace i got this way figured out do you trust me it might go through the prison or do you trust me joseph yeah i trust you everywhere you put me i will exercise my qualities that you have placed in me only then you can be entrepreneur that wife in the example i said if she thought like my husband messed up everything he's in a about to bankrupt she can blame him and then get her share and then leave no she decided no i'm going to trust god and then she reversed the whole company now it's running in a profitable company but the point is this with god all things are possible with his favor with his anointing with his leadership quality everything is given to you nothing new you need you need to just be consistent stay consistent trust on god and depend on god every day there is one person in california started a bakery in a very strategic place that the lord told that business multiplied flourished creative ways innovative thoughts creative ideas 
what world needs you can give you can give jesus you can also give the business that the world is looking for the best quality so you can be above the competition no one so you know you may think people might ask hey is there not a egyptian here why do we need a jew ish person to be the leader of a in egypt because there is nobody when the anointing of god is there with you nobody can able to do what you can do that's what makes you an entrepreneur when you do and deliver things that no one else can do because of the favor of god and the grace of god and the lord is with you you will be successful very simple